and welcome back. We're doing a day in the life today. It's the weekend. I want to run to go get some groceries, uh, have a little like art project with Sydney or something like super simple to do. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing today, day in the life. I actually just need to get myself dressed and ready for the day. I am still in like loungewear and so is Sydney, um, but I do have myself half ready. So I wanted to share with you guys some new products that I got from Lily Silk and they have so graciously partnered with me on today's video. You guys, their products are of the best, highest qualities and I am obsessed with my new pajamas. Oh my word. These are like going to be the most beautiful Christmas pajamas, not even just Christmas as well as like all summer long as well, because it's like a nice light material, breathable. Lily Silk is where you can find lots of quality silk products such as blouses, pajamas, pillowcases, bedding sets, and more. And Mulberry Silk has lots of beauty benefits to the skin and the hair as well. Sleep promoting, anti-aging and super soft and smooth I'm obsessed with the piping the white piping around the collar down here it's a matching set with pants and I'm so in love with them they're so comfy cozy and just luxurious feeling like they're super shiny breathable um, silk material love those and then what I'm gonna wear today from them love is this beautiful mauve like dusty rose blouse I love that it has those three quarter length sleeves. So it's going to be like fitted on the arm. Um, and I just thought that this was really classy. It does have a keyhole back um, as well. So it just looks like really business. It can be business casual. It could be like, you know, wear it to an occasion. They also have like silk pillowcases on their site. Lots of different products from clothing to uh, pajamas to bras, uh, pillowcases. And it's super, super good for your hair, especially me as like a curly hair girl. You don't want a lot of friction when you're tossing and turning around in bed. And it's very like, it's way less damaging on your hair and then way less frizz happens. This is one of my favorite items from them. It's their seamless bra. You guys, this thing is so comfortable and seamless. You can't see it under all of your clothing and like lumps and bumps and you know, the back lines and whatnot. It's very supportive, very comfortable. It has those nice thick shoulder straps as well as that material that's going to cover you in the back again, like so that you don't have those lines, you know what I mean? Those bra lines on your back which are not flattering or comfortable for anyone because they dig in. Um, this is not gonna do that for you. Comes with a couple of different extra cup inserts as well. Um, so I'm gonna have a link down in the description box below for each of these items. I also have a 12% discount code, TRAY12, uh, that you guys can get 12% off of your purchase at Lily Silk. Their quality is above and beyond. They have so many different colors and different um, styles to choose from as well, like those pajamas. Again, I'm gonna get used out of those all year round. They just make me feel like luxurious and a little bit more sophisticated. I'm gonna get myself dressed. I'm gonna wear my seamless bra as well as mm, this top here today. We're gonna get ourselves dressed and ready for the day and then try to hit the grocery store. Like, I might go to Trader Joe's. Um, try to hit that now as opposed to midday since it's still morning time here. Um, and then hopefully cook something delicious for dinner. Delicious and comfy. This little nugget, <laughs> you ready? You ready to get dressed and go? Just having a are you having a lazy morning? I don't want to. I want to watch TV. <laughs> Before we can leave the house, I have to put these dishes away. Um, I have a full sink of dishes. I just didn't empty it, I guess, before bed last night, which drives me nuts. So I'm gonna quickly do that. Sydney's picking out a toy to bring or like a stuffed animal or something to bring in the car for the drive. I wake up from the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say was sleeping by my side What did I do last night? 
Can someone make this headache go away? Yesterday was supposed to be quiet Being to myself and sit in silence Until I got a call My friend showed up at my door They wanted me to go out for a while We were dancing in the dark With a view It worked. We arrived at a very busy Trader Joe's Saturday at like 12. <laughs> uh, on the agenda is I think I want to make like a homemade uh, mac and cheese. I did it last year, I believe, or the year before with some a bunch of different cheeses. So delicious. So I think that's on the agenda for dinner tonight. And then I'm gonna get some frozen items for like school lunches and just just food, frozen items to have on hand as well. Um, and some produce. The treat bag. Back from Trader Joe's, I have a bunch of like holiday treats and things to just snacks and whatnot and freezer items. Um, so I'm gonna do a haul here. So we have um, a bunch of like freezer meals that I'm gonna pop in my freezer chest. You guys know I'm like so obsessed with having my freezer chest now. So we have some spinach and cheese ravioli. I've never tried this. Uh, this is the chimichurri rice with vegetables. I thought that sounded really good. They were completely out of vegetable fried rice, so I just picked up one of those. Um, we have one of these like fiaschetti with pink sauces, which is one of my favorites. This, I don't think I've ever tried before, so I got two of them because they sounded delicious. Truffle cream filled gnocchi. I'm like mouth watering right now because it sounds delicious. So I ended up grabbing two of those. And then I just have a fettuccine with mushrooms. Um, and those are all just like freezer meals that will uh, live for when we need a quick meal idea. I have uh, wine, so I might be bringing this to Thanksgiving. So I got the Jaylor um, Cabernet, which is a decent, which is a pretty good one. And then this, um, have not tried it, but this was in their like holiday s display section, and it's like a cranberry. It's called Secco, but I don't think it's Prosecco. It might be, and um, like a cranberry flavored sparkling wine thing. We have some fresh cranberries. I'm gonna be making some holiday cocktails coming up soon and I love fresh cranberries or like sugared cranberries in drinks. So we have those. I have some herbs. We have dill, rosemary. Um, we have Campari tomatoes, some of my favorites. Um, and then for the macaroni and cheese, I couldn't think for a second there. I have some cheeses. So we have just a regular sharp cheddar. I have this one, which is like a mix of Gruyere, oh my word, I can never say that, Gruyere and cheddar. <laughs> I love doing that in a nice, like, rich mac and cheese. I've never tried truffle oil. I do love the flavor of truffle oil in mac and cheeses. So I saw this on display, since truffle oil is so expensive, I thought I would get this. This was $10 for the two of the white and the black truffle oil. I will let you know how... A I saw. Okay. Um, I'll let you know what I think. 
we have a bunch of holiday treats. I just decided to go ham on them since I'm gonna be making like cook with me's and beverages and just different things for the holiday season. Instead of doing a cookbook, I decided to just do them on YouTube and Instagram. So I have lots of things that I will be using as um, like garnishes and whatnot. These looked yummy. The mini dark chocolate mint stars. They're basically, they're just shortbread cookies covered in dark chocolate and then those like non pearl pearls. Yum. These are peppermint pretzel slims. Yum. <laughs> These I specifically got for um, like garnishes. These are mini peppermint meringues and I love meringue cookies. I might make my own as well. I could totally make my own, but I grabbed those on a whim. We have some turbinado raw cane sugar. I love the chunky granules for like rims on glasses and whatnot. Um, we have these, which you guys, I like swear I manifested these, <laughs> uh, these cookie things, these like gingerbread cookies that hang on mugs. You guys, I have a specific drink in mind that I was like, Hmm, how am I going to make that happen? And I found them at Trader Joe's. Love that. Anyway, that's going to go on like a, maybe like a hot, a drink, a hot drink that I have in mind. String cheese, yogurts for Sydney. I did get, like I said, I just went ham on the holiday treats. We don't usually do this much sugar in my house, or not this much sugar, but like these many treats in my house. Anyway, candy cane, essentially Oreos. Yum, that sounds amazing. We also have this loaf. It's a chocolate peppermint loaf. We'll try that. The picture made it look amazing. We have just regular eggs. A pizza dough to pop in the freezer. Uh, Sydney enjoys these, the mini cheese sandwich crackers. The peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets are some of my favorite and I try not to buy them a lot now because I'll just like eat them in one sitting. <laughs> not really, but I'll eat a ton of them. We have some whipped cream cheese. I have bagels um, that I wanna put that on. Some roasted garlic hummus, of course. And then also another mix of cheese. I should have put that with. I might use this in my mac and cheese, the Parmesan Romano Asiago cheeses. Um, I love making my own Alfredo sauce with like this mix of cheese is so good. Uh, we have some bars, peanut butter, chewy like drizzles, granola bars. I enjoy these a lot. These are really yummy. Sydney picked out some strawberry granola bars for herself. And then of course I talked about this like recently Sydney loves these silver dollar pancakes. So I got two packages of those. She doesn't have them very often, but they go fast, you know, cause she needs a lot of them. <laughs> Some of these uh, Philly cheese take bow, uh, bow buns and Sydney likes those for lunches a lot at home. And then a thing of avocado, a frozen pizza. And then I kind of like panic bought this cause there was only a few more left. There's only a couple left on display. And I just thought that that was really cute to do a gingerbread house kit. We, we had a disaster gingerbread house a couple of years ago. So we're going to redeem ourselves hopefully. Anyway, we're not going to do that until December, but I wanted to buy that just to have that for when we want to make them. So yeah, that's what I got from Trader Joe's. We are starving, ready for lunch. And I got to pop everything in my freezer basically. Sydney and I just had sandwiches real quick for lunch and I thought I would do like a little Thanksgiving like turkey um, coloring thing with her. So I printed this off offline. It was just free. Um, and what I'm going to do is write letters free, not for me, free. Um, I'm going to write letters in each feather that represent a color and I'm going to have her sound out uh, the letter and find a corresponding color. Does that make sense? Since she's in school, she's learned like phonics, tons of phonics. So I thought that would be like a fun, but also educational activity we could do. I took all, all orange. And what color sounds like er? <laughs> Red. With a Yeah, because O sounds like what? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. With a V. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, yep. Felt like we 
yellow. Good job. So Sydney very quickly colored that turkey and wants to do another activity. So I'm gonna make some turkey feathers. And guys, I'm gonna touch. Mom's gonna make turkey feathers, guys, and a heads up somewhere. And then I'm going to find some guys. <laughs> do that stuff to us today. Yeah, but Mama wants to have all of You can guys get up. See? But that's that sounds like way, way fun for you guys to tell you. Well, I'll close my eyes so that I don't know why you hide them. Okay. So we're going to do a, a search and find in the house for these turkey feathers. i got to count how many I have. I can't, loves, do you like... I can't have to count. Oh, yeah. That's actually a good idea. You count them to see how much we have. Two, three, four. Five. So you are gonna go in the playroom while I hide these in the living room. These five, I got five there. And then when I'm ready, I'll tell you, okay? Okay. You're too fast. <laughs> Good job. Okay, well, I'm gonna have these feathers by you because you asked in the playbook. I'll tell you when I'm like, ready, okay? Okay, now you want me to look for him? Yeah. Wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, I need you here, more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow, yeah Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again? Take the time to call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over, yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark so why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. Making this homemade mac and cheese is very simple. I love using cavatappi noodles because they're nice and hearty and the twirls like really hold onto the sauce. So I'm just shredding up some of my cheeses. You can use whatever you want. I love sharp cheddar. I love Gruyere, um, some Gouda in there if you like a little smoky flavor. And then we have some melted butter in the pan and then adding my cheeses and milk as well. I just use whatever milk I have um, in my refrigerator. I'm using some salt and pepper and a touch of nutmeg. This is the recipe that I love using in the fall and winter because nutmeg, as I just mentioned in one of my last videos, adds a little bit of warmth. And then I'm going ahead and putting this in a greased buttered uh, casserole dish and just topping it with a little bit more shredded cheese and putting it in the oven until it kind of warms through and bakes. It's all cooked, so it doesn't need to bake for a long time. Um, but if you guys do try this, let me know. So the mac and cheese is, uh, since it's already cooked, it's gonna take like no time in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and make, I've never tried these. These are the Brussels sprouts that I got from Trader Joe's a while back and I haven't tried them yet. Um, it says with Parmesan cheese. For some reason, I thought they were balsamic. Hmm. Should I add balsamic? Cause I really enjoy them. I guess we'll just try them the way they are. I'm gonna throw those in a saucepan. They only take eight to 10 minutes to cook. Thank you, mama. You're welcome. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. I can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay, it's just a phase and everything is going.